In this video, I'll find the net charge on one of the three charges in this diagram. So here I've redrawn the figure, giving them labels Q1, Q2, and Q3. So my knowns, I know that Q1 and Q3 are both negative 6 nanocoulombs. Q2 is plus 12 nanocoulombs. I know R12, that's the distance from 1 to 2, is 0 0.04 meters. And R23, so this distance, is also 0 0.04 meters. And we're looking for the net force on Q1, net force on Q2, and the net force on Q3. I'm only going to do Q1. So, so F net on Q1 is, well, there are two things in the universe that can cause a force on it. These are the only three things that exist. So, it will have to be the force of charge 2 on charge 1 plus the force of charge 3 on charge 1. What are these? Force of thing 2 on thing 1, I can get the magnitudes. Right? I can find the magnitude. The force of thing 2 on thing 1, that is K Q1 Q2 over R12 squared. Force of thing 3 on thing 1 is K Q1 Q3 over R13 squared. And we know everything here, we know everything here, except we don't know R13. That would be the distance from thing 1 to thing 3. It's not too hard to figure out. It's 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04. So 0 0.08 is this one. So we can find both of these. 4.05 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons, and this one, 5.06 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. So now, the net force should just be the sum of these two. But this is a vector, so we need to know the directions of each of these. F21, the force of this one on that one. This one's positive, that's negative. Opposites attract. So F21 goes that direction. I haven't used that logic before, but if we use the logic I used before, if we ignore the other charges and this is a positive charge, field lines come out in all directions. So the field E of 21 goes to the left here. This is a negative charge, so the force is to the right. What about this one? This is a negative, that's negative. They're going to repel. So F31 is to the left. F21 is to the right. So when I add them, if I call, call to the right the positive direction, F21, now this is positive, so this is 4.05 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons, minus, because it's to the left, minus 5.06 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons, 3.54 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons in the positive direction. So, to the right. You could just leave it as a positive number, because in this case I've indicated plus is that direction. So it would have been fine without to the right because I had this plus in here. If you don't have an arrow indicating positive direction, then you'll need to use some words to describe the direction. So that is F net on Q1.